Hello everyone, everybody. Sorry about the last video. It, uh, seem, I guess it kind of seemed very uninteresting, but hopefully this time I'll make it more better and interesting. I was so tired last week. Hard to catch up on stuff and a lot of busy stuff to prepare for. Like I said, the uh, upcoming weeks and such. So this is kind of this may not be like an update, but this is kind of like an interesting topic that I like to share about San Diego Comic Con. And yes, it does sound fun and very surprisingly cool. Hopefully it makes me wish I was there. But, but from what you can tell, the, the upcoming stuff for Marvel Entertainment, a lot of movies coming out, they're in greenlit trailers for, that sounds good, and I will definitely put them down. And I will definitely send the links in the description below so you guys can see that. And hopefully you guys have something to enjoy and watch to look forward to. And, and that'll be my way of giving you guys a little hint of what it's like and what they're preparing for. And what you can tell, I think the trailers are going to be, are going to be worth, worth seeing as well as the movies are. And I can't wait for at least some of them. But what surprises me that they greenlit two more prequels for the Halloween movie that came out last year. And that kind of surprises me with what they did for the ending. And, um, I have no spoilers on that. But you pretty much, if any of you have seen Halloween, the 2018 version, you pretty much know what it's best. At the end, I, I spare no spoilers, but if you want to check them out, I hope, I hopefully they'll be in at least one of the links I'm be giving them out. They'll be giving out, as well as uh, some uh, chasing tidbits and such. And what surprises me is that Marvel's and from what Marvel's doing on their uh. On their phases, and I know, I know they're kind of like in prepare, in prepare and ready for phase four. But what surprised me, they almost, they almost kind of announced phase five. And and yeah, that seems a little too, almost seems a little too soon on coming the chart, if you ask me. And speaking of which, I kind of have a fan theory floating around, and yes, it sounds weird. But it has something to do with the Spider-Man Far From Home. Now hear me out on this one. Please hear me out. Anyway, the fan theory goes is since if if anybody has seen Spider-Man Far From Home, you'll pretty much you'll pretty much know this one kinda makes sense and kinda like a no-brainer, per se. But it's it's a what if moment if Ah. Sorry about that. Huh? <clears throat> but anyway, this is kind of a fan theory floating around that I kind of came up with. What if Doctor Strange showed up in Spider-Man Far From Home? Now I know what people are thinking, even which will explain the multiverse, a little bit of the multiverse ideas, and and how they can be in control, what what their what different different worlds they come from and timelines timelines that separate them from but I think we kinda of got a little bit of a hint from them in in the second Thor film, which was the art world. To what they're explaining about. But it also kinda of makes sense even if and I think they kind of explain it in, uh, the sh not the Shattered Dimensions, but, um, like in that animated Spider-Man movie that just came out last month. That, they kind of explain it in that. So, I think it's going to be cool. Oh, even though they're in the title, Doctor Strange and Multiverse, I just wish that they should, they should have him, they should have him appear in, in Spider-Man Far From Home. To at least, to at least from the extent that you have the villain Mysterio a run for his money, 
or either him or Lofi. That would be interesting if they had if they brought Lofi in far from home. That to me, either one of them. But basically, that's kind of what my fan theory is all about. If they if one of them showed up in Trent Mysterio, or we figure out how to feed him. Uh, anyway, just an idea that I came up with, I think. Even though the plot may or may not make sense, but I think that it would be interesting to see at least Doctor Strange or Loki in it. So if you if you guys have any ideas how that could happen, please let me know in the comments below and if if you guys think it may or may not sense may or may not make any sense, please let me know about that too. So but anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick updates on saying you comment on and a little bit of some tidbits to share in the, in the description that I will provide the links for. And also, uh, I mean, not too much else to say, but I just kind of like want to at least talk about it, even though, so, I, Ah, uh, uh, I wasn't my train of thought here, but anyway, like I'm saying, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will definitely be looking, definitely be looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I apologize if I don't have too much to say or, or kind of like too much to talk to discuss on, but at least hopefully the links will help, and hopefully you guys enjoyed them. See what they have to offer. Hopefully, if you have a favorite too, let me know down in the comments below what they are. And I shall get back to you guys again pretty soon. And uh, hope you guys have a rest of your week. Rock on the heat bottom. Hot Shina. He's out to all the girls, girls and boy scouts. And, and stay awesome. And have a great, wonderful rest of your day and week. Love you, all, love you guys all so much, and keep it rich in it. From your number one favorite pal, Mitch Sherry, guys, from Colorado. Bye.